στο Γιουτζίν του Όρικον και ο κορυφαίο των κορυφαίων στο Άλμα Σεμίκο. Αυτό το ήρεμο παιδί, το χαμογελαστό που το λατρεύει όλη η Ελλάδα. Μίλτο Τεντόγλου πέρασε, μα κοψοχόλιασε, αλλά πέρασε. Μιλτάρδης Τεντόγλου, ο Ολυμπικό Champion. World Indoor Champion. Reigning indoor and outdoor European champion. The only thing the Greek doesn't have is a global outdoor title at the World Athletics Championships. He still just has to better the 8:40 of Pinnock, even though they both jumped 8:50. It's Miltadis Tentoglu. In fact, if he can jump 8:40 on the nose, his third best jump is better than Pinnock. So till Tentoglu. One last shot at glory for the Greek man to complete his set of medals. It's oh, let's wait for the flag. Let's wait for the flag. That was very, very good from Tentoglu. I think it will be around about the eight and a half meter mark. He's got the green flag. Surely, 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 the last card. Gasp here, Tentoglu has done enough. He can't even watch on. This man is so cool. He's so calm, and finally, the veneer jobs. Have I done it? Have I done it? Have I done it? The cameras gather. Ten Togli. It's come up as 8:52. He's the outright longest jumper here in the men's long jump final. Look at those Greek flags behind him. He's saying, "Just calm down a second. Just calm down." This Greek superstar, this sensation, is one jump away from completing the set, winning everything you possibly can in this sport. Wayne Pinnock of Jamaica on the runway. The 22-year-old. He jumped 8:54 yesterday. Yesterday morning. That's two centimeters further than Tentoglu has just managed. He's not matched that mark in the final three rounds. It's been a 6:39, a 8:03, a 7:96. It's been scrappy from Pinnock. He's going to have to compose himself here. I love the smile on the runway. That releases tension. Talking to himself, saying, "You can do this. You can relax. You can unleash something special." 17 centimeter personal best to do that. 8:54. He was second at the NCAA Championships to McLeod, and he's just been pushed down to fourth place. He then won the Jamaican National Championships, and then he came here to that new world-leading mark of 8:54. The very last jump here. At the men's long jump at the World Athletics Championships, if the graphic is correct, it's close, but no cigar for Pinnock. He thanks the crowd. I wonder if it was over on the board as well. He's been given the green flag. They will measure it, but I don't think it's quite going to be enough for Pinnock. And now we see the physical pain as well. I think Pinnock has been hand handling something here in his hamstring. Ten Tokley doesn't want to believe it till he sees it. It's come up on my system. It's come up in the stadium. 8:38 for Pinnock. Ten Toglu has done it. This man has won everything available to him in this sport. He nearly, nearly, nearly did it in Eugene last year to be denied in the final round by just four centimeters. And now he has done the opposite in round six. He's snatched the gold medal by the margin of two centimeters ahead of Wayne Pinnock. Tentoglu, at the age of 25, has it all. It started in 2021 when he took his second European indoor title. He then went on to win the Tokyo Olympic Games in August of 2021. And then the World Indoor Championships in Belgrade in March of 2022. He failed to get his hands on the gold medal in Eugene last summer. Went on to take the gold European Outdoor Championships in Munich, kept that crown, and he had to wait a whole year here to get his hands on this, the final one in his set. I didn't want to lose two times in a row. Uh, I lost last year, but today I knew it was my year. I was feeling strong. I was ready for this and. Uh, It was very hard because uh, Jamaican guy Pinot he surprised me a lot. I didn't expect uh, him to be that strong, and uh, I respect him, and uh, he's an amazing competitor. And uh, yeah.
congratulations to him and to every other athlete, of course, that was in the final. What goes through your mind on attempt number six as you're on the run? Yes, I was just uh, thinking that uh, it's my last attempt and I have to do it right now. I said to myself, run fast and it will not be a foul. That's what I said. No fear, you know, I just, I, they ran. I did a fantastic jump. I knew it was a good jump from the board. I knew it was a good jump. And because I knew it was a good jump, I completely messed up the landing. And the landing was terrible, but it was enough to win, at least. But maybe I will not forgive myself for, uh, for that landing. As far as I know, you appreciate, uh, you appreciate performance more than result. Yes. You have results, so you're not happy with your performance here. No, I'm not happy. I, I would be happy uh, with a date 50, but the last attempt, it showed that I can do, I can jump more. And I didn't know about it. I, I knew that I could jump like uh, 850. I was sure about 850. But the last thing was to be 8, 870. That's why I'm, I'm angry. You know? <laughs> Just what, it, what does it mean to represent Greece year after year on the world stage? What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I'm, I've been around for many years now. And uh, I always, uh, I always comp compete better when it's for the uh, national team, you know? Uh, and I don't know how to explain this, but uh, yeah, I, I do it for my country, I do it for myself and uh, for the medals, for the performance, I do it for everything and it's giving me strength. So.